in this video we'll see how to use the branch node from SunQ in combination with Blueprint. The branch node opens its first or second input whether the boolean variable with it associated is true or false. Now, without further ado, let's move to Unreal and see how it works in detail. To test the branch node, I prepared this demo level, where if we are inside the trigger box 6 and we press space, we'll hear a error sound. But if we move inside trigger box 7, so we are facing the statue, and we press E, we can grab the statue, then move back to the trigger box 6, press spacebar once again and hear a different sound. This is a very simple yet common situation in which you'll need to use a branch node. So the branch is inside a sound cue, uh, attached to this ambient sound. The sound cue is called statue sound. As you can see to the branch module are connected two audio files. The first one, which is the uh, sound codex intro and the other one which is the uh, error sound. Now the variable connected to branch has a default value of false so when we enter the trigger box 6 we'll hear the error sound. To switch the variable condition we need to jump to the blueprint editor so Let's open it. Inside Blueprint I have prepared this uh, node graph where by overlapping the trigger box 6 we can open the gate so we can press spacebar, send an event out from the gate from its exit. Then we can trigger a play function. For target it has the statue sound which is the sound cue where I have placed the branch node. But we are not done yet because the set boolean parameter is telling to the sound cue that the variable connected to branch is statue, which is a boolean variable. By default, it's set to false. The target of set boolean parameter is once again the sound cue. And as you can see here, we have a sort of name identifier, statue ID which is the same name I wrote inside the branch node under bool parameter name. By default we said that statue is set to false, so when we are inside uh, the trigger box 6 and we press spacebar we'll hear the error sound. But if we enter trigger box 7, which is the trigger box for the statue, we open a different gate, now we can press E and set the statue boolean variable to true. The last thing is that we need to destroy uh, the 3D mesh uh, for the statue and as you can see its target is SM statue, the 3D mesh used here. Now that the statue variable is set to true, we can move once again to trigger box 6 and this time by pressing the spacebar we'll trigger the sound cue with the variable statue set to true. So we'll hear the first, its first input which is connected to the sound codex intro. Now let's jump to the game and have a listen to uh, the final result. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.